Stormwater runoff is the number one source of toxic contamination in Puget Sound, and the longer we go without rain, the worse that contamination can be. We went for a boat ride with the organization Puget Soundkeeper, which monitors the impacts of stormwater runoff. Whenever it's been dry for a long time, a lot of things build up in our sewer systems. Executive Director Sean Dixon says those toxins can come from industrial sites or someone's driveway. If you change your car's oil on your sidewalk or on your street because it's a great Saturday and you want to get to that project this weekend and you don't do a good job of capturing that oil, then that's going to sit in the storm drain or that's going to sit in your catch basin. And then when it rains a week later, that's when it's going to head out into the environment. Modern stormwater treatment systems are designed to handle the deluge, but some older systems just cannot keep up. Puget Soundkeeper says one of its greatest concerns is the region's dwindling coho salmon population. Some of the chemicals found in tires, for example, could be the leading cause of coho mortality that we've been seeing in the region for 20 years. One solution to dirty runoff is to build more bioswales, basically gardens that filter toxins from the water that drains from nearby roads and parking lots. But in our built world, some contamination is inevitable. In Elliott Bay, Tedland, King 5 News.